Do you have a big family and sometimes you need a little help remembering who's who and how we're all related? Well, that's kind of what it's like learning our primate family tree. Let's start talking about the different primate groups. One of my favorite things is getting to talk about all of the different primates out there. Our goals for today is we're going to talk about the major primate groups. Because we're talking about a lot of different species, we organize them in a couple of higher level groups. We have our strepsirines on one side and on the other we have our haplorines. And you can see there are some subgroups that are organized a little bit like this. So let's get introduced to some of these important groups. First, we have our lemurs, then we have our lorises, our tarsiers, new world monkeys, old world monkeys, and finally our apes. But of course, um, some of these are more closely related to each other than others. So we can put this all into a tree. First, we have all primates, and we can separate all primates into strepsirines and haplorines. Within our strepsirines, we have our lemuriformes, which we then separate into le lemuroidea and lorisoidea. Within lemuroidea, we have a couple different families, and within lorisoidea, we have two different families, the lorises and galagos. Now, let's look at our haplorines. Within haplorines, we have tarsiers on one side, and then our semiaformes, or our anthropoids, on the other. Tarsiers are a, a special lineage that has been separated from other primates, so kind of off on their own, doing their own thing. Within our semiaformes or anthropoids, we have two groups, our platyrines and catarines. Within platyrines, we have several different families. Within catarines, though, we do have one more important distinction. We separate those into cercopithecoids and hominoids. We have a couple different types of cercopithecoids, and then hominoids, we have our hominids and hylobatids. If this is not already familiar to you, that was probably a lot of names and a little bit overwhelming. So let's look at a slightly simplified tree to make this make a little bit more sense. Here's our simplified tree. We're, now we're only looking at some of the biggest groups here. Um, but let's also take into account some of the larger groupings because these are important words um, so we can uh, talk about more um, species at one time. So the most fundamental differences here are we have strepsirines on this half. This branch, all of these guys are strepsirines, which we separate them out into our lemurs and our lor lorises, or lemuroidea and lorisoidea. The other half here, these are our haplorines, or infraorder haplorini. Within our haplorines, within, now we have our tarsioidea, off doing their own thing, and then all of these guys here are our anthropoidea sometimes called semiaformes. Within anthropoidea, we divide that into two more groups, our platyrines and our catarines. Within catarines, we do have one more distinction we wanna talk about, our cercopithecoids and our hominoids. Again, th these are a lot of uh, specialized names we're using here. So take a moment and get familiar with this tree and notice how the common names on top are sometimes similar to the scientific names below. If you wanna look at one of the most recent molecular phylogenies for primates, um, Perelman et al. in 2011 did a very comprehensive primate tree um, and it is the most comprehensive one to date. They have 61 different primate genera, um, including two dermoptera genera, and they even have one scandentia genus. Um, this is all rooted by Lagomorpha or our uh, rabbits, and you can see how we have the different major groups of primates arranged. If you're interested, I highly recommend you go check out this publication. So as we go through all of these different groups of primates, our goal is to be able to recognize all of these different groups and be able to explain some of the different features. So your goal, after you've gone through all of the different, the different groups, is to come back to this lecture, and then can you name all of these different primates? But for now, what are the different major primate groups, and how are they related? Mm -hmm. 